In the previous video, we learned a little bit about client and server component. In this one, we're gonna do a little bit of practicing. Practice makes it perfect. And we're gonna implement our counter page. Code with Sloba. So let's start off with our home page. Uh, first, I wanna remove this test button and let me remove the import, or actually let me remove the entire component. So test button, let's just delete that like so. And now what I want to do is I want to use this home page as a home of, uh, let's say, a Next.js course. So what we can do is right here, Next.js uh, course. And uh, the other thing that I want to do is I want to add some padding because this doesn't look good on smaller devices. So let's go to our layout. And here in the layout.js, let's add the padding all around our content. Like so. This looks much, much better. Okay. So here we have this text. Uh, let's make it a little bit smaller. So 5XL. And let's add some margin on the bottom, margin bottom 8. And let's increase the font weight. So font bold, like this. Cool. And now let's add a link uh, in below that. So let's add a link. Let's import it on the top here. Import link. And this link is going to link to our next page where we're going to start, uh, you know, where we're going to start our course. So it, it is on the counter page. So here for the text, we're going to say start. It gives us error because we haven't provided href. And we're just going to do that in a second. So href and we're just going to say counter like so. Okay. And let's add some styling to our button here because it looks terrible. Well, let's add a class name and let's add a bat button and button dash accent like so and this looks much nicer this is from the easy ui so if you refresh and if you click on it it will uh redirect us to our to counter page cool so let's get back home one thing that we haven't discussed in the previous tutorial is how you can distinguish if a component is a server or a client and you know if you're not yet quite sure so one trick is that you just do the console log so if we just do here console.log on the home page hello from home and if we go and open up our console here if you refresh we can see that nothing is happening this is because this component is getting rendered on the server not on the client so if you open up a terminal we can see that we get the logs from terminal so likewise if you go to the counter page and the counter page is going to be a client component so let's open up counter and page and here let's De declare a client component so use client we already have learned this and mm -hmm. in the counter itself let's just console.log hello from from counter like so if we save this and refresh you can see that we get the logs from the counter page because this is a client component so this is a tricky way to just test if you're not sure whether the component is a client or a server one so let me close these logs and now let's implement the thing that we have similarly done in the previous video. So instead of writing just the counter here, what I want to do is I want to add h1 and here we're going to use a count, right? Something similar that we already have done. And now let's use the use effect hook or actually use state hook. And let's declare two variables. So the first one is going to be count and the second one is going to be set count. And we're just gonna use use state hook, and we're gonna use default value as zero, like so. And let's add some classes to this count, so it's you know much, so it's nicer. So let's add text seven XL, so it's larger. Let's increase the font weight, so font bold, and let's add some margin on the bottom because we're gonna have a button, margin bottom four like so. And below that, we're just going to create a button. This button is going to obviously create increase the count. So let's say increase and let's add some styling and let's use button primary from Daisy. Okay. Button primary like so. And now let's add the functionality. So what we're going to do is on click. We need to practice, right? So practice makes perfect. And it also stays in your memory. This is why we are repeating all of this. Set count. And let's increase the count. 
count by one plus one like so uh, let's save this let's refresh and let's try our counter and now we have implemented our counter page so this looks exactly as i wanted so this is all for this tutorial and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that i'm doing feel free to check out patreon.com code with sloba to get full access see you there well that's all for this video and thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe code with sloba Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.